All right, Nick, in this video, again, we're going to review one major principle of hitting that we worked on throughout the summer. And we're going to focus on that principle of hitting by showing how you've improved from the beginning of the summer on June 7th, which you can see here on the left-hand side, to August 16th, our last swings of the summer together. And what I want to do really quickly is pull up a four view of two major league hitters, and then you before and you after. And what we'll do here is pull up in the upper left-hand corner, your first swings of the summer, June 7th. In the upper right-hand corner, we'll pull up your last swings of the summer. And then right below this, we'll pull up Chase Utley. And we'll flip him over and make him a right-handed hitter. And we'll also pull up Miguel Cabrera. And one of the major principles of hitting we talked about is the importance of how we get prepared to swing. And getting prepared to swing involves a couple of things. Number one, as you can see here with Chase Hutley, it involves a negative move. And so with our negative move, all we're simply doing is getting ourselves prepared to stride forward. And when we do that, what we do is we load the weight on the inside of our back leg. The back knee stays inside the back foot. And you'll see here with Chase Hutley, he picks up that front heel and his weight simply loads against the inside of his back leg. And you'll see with Miguel Cabrera, he gets prepared a little bit differently, but he still loads the weight on the inside of his back leg. You'll see here as he begins to take his negative move, he lifts up his front knee towards his belly button right there. And you can see his, his weight gets loaded on the inside of his back leg here. And so both guys do a negative move. And during their negative move, they're not loading the hands. They're just simply loading the weight on the inside of the back leg. And that leads to the positive move. When they take their positive move, they're attacking with their lower half towards the pitcher. So you see here with Chase Utley, as he attacks with his lower half, he's loading his hands. And when his front foot lands, he's done preparing to swing. You'll see here the belly button moves forward, and the hands get to a great launch position. Notice how the barrel of the bat gets pointed kind of towards his head here, and the knob of the bat gets pointed towards the catcher. Notice how his hands and the bat stay close to his body. That's going to help him swing more efficiently and be more powerful with his hip rotation. You'll see the same thing here with Miguel Cabrera. As he takes his stride forward, his belly button and lower half works towards the pitcher, and his hands get loaded. And when he lands, you'll see here, he's created a positive move forward, but more importantly, his hands are in a great launch position. Notice how the knob of the bat's pointed towards the catcher, and the barrel's nice and close to his head, hands close to his body. And so we have two hitters here that get, get to very good launch positions. Now, if we take a look at you up on the left-hand side and watch the launch position that you got to, you're going to see here when you take your stride and your front foot lands, your hands weren't in a very good position. Notice here on the left how your, your arm gets locked out and you push your hands away from your body. And as a result of that, you're going to be a little bit slower with the swing. Also notice how your barrel of the bat is further away from your head. And the knob of the bat isn't really pointed towards the catcher, but instead it's kind of pointed towards the opposite batter's box. Now in contrast, on the right-hand side, you do a much better job getting to a good loaded position. You'll see here when your front foot lands, you're in a great spot to hit. Notice where the barrel of the bat is. Notice where the knob of the bat is. <coughs> and notice how your lead arm is nice and relaxed. <clears throat> so everything is a little bit closer to the body here on the right-hand side. And, and more importantly, because you get your hands in a good spot, your head's in a better position too. Notice here if I draw a line from your eyes to your belly button, how that line kind of like works backwards. You can see the same thing here with Miguel Cabrera and Chase Utley. But in your old swing, the problem was is your eyes were slightly behind your belly button here. <clears throat> so your head wasn't quite in the fire. So you were losing balance and power with this weak hitting position. 
And so now we got you to a much stronger position to hit, and that's going to improve the quality of your swings pitch after pitch.